This video demonstrates the standard method for installing a Koran Edge stainless steel sink seamlessly into a solid surface countertop. Before you begin installation, thoroughly check the sink for any signs of damage or defects. Check both the rim of the sink as well as the bowls. Locate where the sink needs to be positioned on the back side of the solid surface. Mark the sink center line and the setback from the front edge of the countertop. Use your preferred method of locating the sink. In this case, we will use wood locator blocks hot melt glued to the back of the solid surface. Clean the rim of the sink with denatured alcohol and a clean white rag. Clean the back of the solid surface where the sink will be adhered with denatured alcohol and a clean white rag. Prepare a solid surface seam adhesive cartridge. Use the color that is recommended for the solid surface sheet color. Apply the seam adhesive to the rim of the sink. Place the sink into the correct position on the back of the solid surface. Clamp the sink securely using your preferred clamping method. Allow adhesive to cure completely, approximately 30 to 40 minutes depending on brand of adhesive and the climate. Make an entry hole in the solid surface using a plunge router, hole saw, or other preferred method. Using an overhang trim bit with nylon bearing and a plunge router, trim the solid surface. Final trimming of the solid surface can be done using either a 10 degree bevel bit with oversized bearing, a 24 degree bevel bit with oversized bearing, or a 45 degree bevel bit with oversized bearing. All of these bits are available from Koran or your Koran distributor. In this installation, we will use a 45 degree bit. Remember when using the 10 degree bit, you must tape off the top three inches of the sink wall with a protective tape. This should be done prior to gluing the bowl in. Insert the bit securely into a plunge router that can be accurately adjusted for height. Set the bearing of the bit slightly below the bottom surface of the solid surface and make a pass around the sink. Inspect how much solid surface overhang remains. Additional trimming is likely needed. Adjust the router bit slightly lower, then make another pass around the sink. Again, inspect how much solid surface overhang remains. Check all around the sink to find where the router bit has cut the closest. The goal is to keep adjusting the router bit lower until the router bit is cutting as close to the stainless steel wall as possible without touching the wall. Once this has been achieved, move on to the sanding process. Sanding can be accomplished with a drum sander or an orbital sander. Here we show how to use both tools. Sand until the transition between solid surface and sink is smooth. Some hand sanding may be needed. Hand sand using sandpaper about a 150 to 180 grit. Always sand with the grain. If needed, use a flap wheel in a drill to blend the finish. Always follow the grain of the stainless steel when doing any kind of refinishing. You may also do this by hand with a Scotch-Brite pad. Your countertop is now complete and ready for installation.